Hey guys, this is Jella and welcome back to my channel. We are now part 3 in our new Autumn Town series, which is still a no game pass. And this will be the coffee shop. If you still haven't watched the first parts of this town series, the link is in my description box, so go watch the other parts first, hee hee. I really wanted to add a coffee shop in this town because of how cozy this town would look like. So as per request, we will make this Starbucks because I totally agree with the pumpkin spice latte. We will definitely get it again in the next autumn slash fall update. I'm actually excited for this next update because I want to see new items that may be added in the decorations, as well as the new foods. Like, I love foods and seeing them add the special foods brings me so much joy. Anyways, this Starbucks cafe is gonna be in a 4x6 plot, so I used 4x4 four four square for the main shop. I wanted to bring the very cozy vibe for this town, and since Starbucks has this green color palette, I think it works to our advantage to use green walls for the exterior. And then I added wooden ceiling trims. For the roofing, I used two flat roofs. The first one is indented out and a flat. And the second roof, I adjusted the trim height to make it a border. I will be adding a roof deck seating area since this is a small coffee shop. Even though we do not have any game pass, we will work to our advantage what we have for now. And this is how you can at least make a two-story cafe. I also added brick moldings on the exterior walls to match the school building we made from the previous video. Since I used this traditional double door, we will use this panel window to match the front door. I colored the frames brown wooden and the glass window brown. I then added a transparent decal for the Starbucks logo and I just searched up from the free images. I placed it on the flat areas of the roof in front and on the right side. So the interior wall colors is just the same as the exterior. I also copied the brick moldings and the wall color I would be changing later is the back wall. Anyways, I used this simple counter and you cannot place the counter on the corner because of the pillar. But I did the delete undo technique so I can place the counter by the corner. I also did the same for the fridge. And because we want to fill up wall space, I added this overhead cabinets and used delete undo technique to place the cabinet on the corner. I will make the center empty so we can place down this basic medium painting frames as the menu board. And I will just search up Starbucks menu later from the free images since I didn't make any decal for this build. I also added oak shelf on the middle part and used delete undo technique to place them close together. As for the appliances, I cannot afford to buy the espresso machine, so I will just use this coffee machine and add two. As for the blender, save your money and just buy one blender since I will delete the other one later when I add some kitchen decors. I also added a microwave for snacks and pastries. And the shelf above is for display mugs since Starbucks have this display case for their mugs. I just colored the mugs differently with the autumn theme. As I mentioned earlier, I changed this back wall design and made it brick to make it an accent wall instead. And right now, I didn't have a final layout for the kitchen counters and prepping station for the machines. So you will see me move the machines and cup holders later because I keep on adding items and then I forgot to add sink at this time, so I will move the items again. I added a front counter and because I was picturing some machines are in the front counter, I keep on moving this items, so you might find it difficult to follow this part because I will move this again later. I also added a mat, but don't add that since I will delete that later so just save your money. I added this pump for the coffee and chocolate syrups and I changed the color of the cup holder. I added this tray in front since this is where the orders will be placed. And I copied the cash register we made from the school in the previous video. I just used the toy cash register since we cannot afford the block bucks, hee hee. But if you have a cash register, that would be much better. Now that the corner counter is empty, I added the sink and some washing items. I added a pin board and there we placed the calendar and some notes for ingredients or special items. I changed the texture of the counters to wooden boards and I think it looks better than being plain white. Then I added a floor sign and used this new menu stand. I used delete undo technique to move it closer to the counter. And as I mentioned earlier, I deleted the other blender so we can fit all the drink machines in this counter with the coffee bean jars and powders. I moved all this because I forgot that I needed to add a display case for the pastries. So don't worry, everything that I will place down right now is the final setup hee hee. So sorry, I keep on forgetting items that I want to add and end up changing the counter setup. 
I squeezed out the space for the ordering area and I think it looks better than completely empty look. I also added utensils near the display case, then I added this commercial trash bin on the side and copied the color of the fridge. I copied the windows and placed it on the side walls. As for the seating area, I used the square table and this round stool. As much as I want to add a sofa chair here, we have a very small space so this would be much better. I made the chair foam autumn theme and I think it looks cute. We can only add two dining seats inside, but don't worry since we will have a roof deck seating and outdoor seating. I also added rubber mats and changed the color so it would look cute rather than commercial. I added this industrial chandelier for the counter area and I used sleek ceiling lights on the corners. The color tone of lighting will make the room look cozy, so I used linen for the ceiling lights and I will make the chandelier yellowish brown tone later. I changed the ceiling color to wooden planks and to add more decors, I used banners on top of the windows. So I used fawn brown for the chandelier color and that looks cozy for me. Let's add more plants outside and I love how the vine plant looks so we will add it on this corner and change the leaf color to orange shade and the pot to brown so it would camouflage in the roof. I copied the Starbucks logo and placed it above the board and used delete undo technique so I can place it down closer. Now let's make the roof deck seating and I added the staircase. We will add another flat roof on the back for landing area and just change the color to match the roof flooring style. I also copied the color to the staircase. And we will add a fence railing. So I just used the traditional railing but feel free to use whichever you like. I made it wooden brown color. We will add a partition when going up so the customer won't fall down hee hee. So I used the small boxes and changed the color to wooden. Stack up six boxes and this will be the fence we will make. The roof deck has its own railing from the flat roof trim, so since this is a no game pass build, we just have to deal with it and jump over inside hee hee. Now let's add some seating areas over here and I copied the dining table we have inside. And since this is a larger space, we can now add a sofa chair. So I used this cheap simple sofa chair and just recolored and changed the pillow to a square one. When the update comes, I may or may not change this pillows. I also used a round table for the sofa chairs since it looks cute. And let's add some plants on some tables and this fine plants on the corner. The orange pillows looks too redundant, so I made some pillows and chair to green like the pumpkin has a green and orange color theme, right? I also added a few seating on the side and seal off the outdoor with the grass hedges. And the only decals that I would change right now is the menu boards which I just searched up on the free images. I didn't make any decals for this build since Starbucks is very popular and I know there will be free images on the search bar hee hee. For this calendar, I just searched up coffee for a coffee poster. Yay! We are finally finished with the part 3 in our no game pass autumn slash fall town. And this is our cozy Starbucks here in our fall town. I still have no name for our town so I just don't know if I should just name it Autumnville hee hee. So right now the total plot value is $103,345. And of course this is a no game pass build so if you don't have any game passes and you want to build a town, then this is for you. I think the shop costed me around $25,000, but it is very worth it since we have an outdoor and roof deck seating. So this is on the side of the town and it has its own parking space in front so perfect for those going to work roleplay. Now let's go inside. So as you enter, we have quite a small space, but it is very cute and I love how it looks very cozy. I still haven't added any pastries on the display case, but we will add some cakes when the update comes. We have two dining seats on both corners because I didn't want to block the display case and ordering area. So there is where you order and pick up your drinks. And then this is the small kitchen and staff area. We have the mugs display on the shelves and the menu board in the middle. So yeah, I tried to add as many clutters as I can, but I kept on forgetting something so the items keep on moving hee hee. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is how our cozy Starbucks staff kitchen and prepping area turned out. I love the coziness though. If you like to add more appliances, feel free to do so. Anyways, this is the small outdoor seating and we have two dining seats over here. I think this table is my least favorite to stay because everyone going up would be stepping above you hee hee. But yeah, I think it still looks cute. Now let's go up to the roof deck. And as you go up, you have to jump over here because of the railing. But this is how the roof deck seating looks like. 
We have many seats of your choice, and if I were to stay, I would definitely choose the sofa chair cause it looks comfy hee hee. But yeah, I love how the Starbucks turned out even though we have no game pass, we still made it look better, right? Anyways, that is the town so far. Thank you guys for watching the part 3 of our No Game Pass Autumn Town series. I would appreciate your support by giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click on the notification bell so you won't miss the latest videos I upload. Help me reach 10,000 subs before 2024 ends. This would help me a lot especially in making future videos for you all. Love you guys. We have all been busy so I hope you are all safe and take care wherever you are. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, or night. Love you all and take care. See you on my next video.